Hi everybody, Tina Marie from Mojave Mono Railroad. I'm in my train room. It's kind of a bit of a disaster right now. I want to explain to you why it's a disaster, what the future of this channel is, and where I've been the last few months. So stick around, buckle up, get a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, and we'll get right to it next. Hi everybody, Tina Marie from Mojave Model Railroad. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a few months. Uh, I'm going to try to go really briefly and really quick of where I've been and what the future is in this channel. So make sure you stick around because I've got some interesting news at the end of this video. So to start with, um, as you know, the last video I posted, my train layout was pulled apart a little bit briefly. It is back up and running, yay! So I get to run trains again. Um, thank you for the great support of everybody that reached out to me. I really do appreciate it. Also, shortly after that video, I was ordered by the doctor to lose some weight. Happy to say, since February, I'm down 35 pounds on the keto diet. I'm back running. I'm actually doing a little workout with my son, trying to do some light weights. And uh, happy body. Happy mind makes for a very productive person, so keep that in mind. So expect a lot of good things coming forward because I am ready to go. Also, in the last uh, three weeks, I have bought a few estate sales. I don't normally buy a lot of estate sales. Uh, I get probably one or two uh, calls a month of them, and I usually send them to John uh, over at Westside Trains if they're interested in selling. But I couldn't resist these two because of some of the products that were in there. Some of them I'm actually going to keep. And uh, you'll see in the video as, we, as I talk here, um, some of the products that I want to keep and, and some of the products that will be going up on my eBay store. Anyways, during the course of uh, the purchase, I've got totes and totes and totes and totes of stuff that uh, have to be fixed. Some have to uh, just be cleaned up a little bit, be tested, so I can either sell them or keep them for myself. And I, I, you know, anybody who's bought any kind of used items, even on eBay, understand that you know you take a hit or miss sometimes when you buy stuff. So some of the stuff uh, is going to need a little bit more TLC. Some of the stuff is nice and some of the stuff is for me. So, you know, I'm just going to keep it in my display case. All right, so enough about all the stuff that I've bought over the last few months. Let's talk about really what I've been doing exclusively for the last six months as well. And that's been working with John over at Westside Trains. Now, John is one of the few hobby shops that is still here in Las Vegas, one of the few train stores. I think he's the only train store in Las Vegas area that actually carries H-O-N-N -N scale. Um, and I didn't want that hobby shop to go away. So over the last few months, I approached John uh, about doing, well, it's probably been a, a year ago that we had, we had discussions about this, and then it really came forward in January, John had got COVID. The store had to close for over a week. Fortunately, he's doing great. We did lose a, an, an employee, Bob, to COVID, um, which was really sad. Bob was a really nice guy. And I approached John because I didn't want the store to close. And I said, well, let's do a new e-commerce store. Let's, let's modernize the way people can connect with you. And that's what we're doing. So I've created a new e-commerce store that's going to be eventually linked with his um, his retail store with a POS system. I just created, I just built a brand new computer for him that we're going to be incorporating QuickBooks POS system and accounting software for him as well to make his job of running the store so much easier. Uh, technically, my position is considered webmaster, and I'm going to be doing a lot of the online sales for John as well as working to kind of modernize and organize uh, his current inventory for the store. And I'm really looking forward to working for John. He's such a nice guy, very knowledgeable of trains. The store has been in business for 17 years, and we've lost so many mom and pop and, you know, and hobby stores uh, over the last two years, not just here in Las Vegas, but all over the country. I didn't want to lose another one. So please, if you get a chance, go to the westsidetrains.com. We launch August 1st, westsidetrains.com, and support you know, a local hobby shop. Yeah, there's some great big companies out there, but they all started small at, at first as well. And we do have some special things coming on that channel. 
plus uh, on my channel, I just want to let you know that uh, I will be trying to do a video at least once a week, mostly from the store, to give you updates of new products that are going to be hitting uh, westsidetrains.com. So, again, a lot going on. I, I can't go into the details of some of the other stuff that I'm doing behind the scenes. Um, that'll be coming in future videos, so you want to stick around. Make sure you like, share this channel. If you haven't liked it, please do. Also, if you have a channel, whether it's N scale, O scale, G scale, whatever scale, please leave it in the comments below. Um, I probably am already following, but if I'm not following, I definitely want to follow you and your channel as long as you follow mine. Uh, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. If you go over to MojaveModelRero.com, that's MojaveModelRero.com, that's my website, you can see I'm giving away a special prize when we do hit a thousand subscribers, so I look forward to hitting that as well. And one more thing I forgot to mention, and I'll have a video coming up on that this pretty soon, is because John's store has some end scale, we're actually bought, just bought recently uh, two estate sales that had a lot of end scale stuff. So we're gonna be expanding the end scale part of John's store. And we didn't really have a way to display a lot of the trains. So I just created an eight foot by 16 foot, uh, well, I didn't say created it completely, but an eight foot by 16 inch deep um, switching, you know, kind of modular shelf layout in end scale, <laughs> which is something I haven't dealt with in years. And it's both gonna be DCC as well as DC. So NCE's DCC system and just a traditional power pack for DC. Flick of a switch, we'll be able to test the different trains and we'll also be able to take pictures of our used products on that display as well. So I'll have a, so I'll, I'll post some video. You'll see some video as we, as we, as I talk here about it. Again, it's just a, a nice little switching air yard that we'll be able to incorporate, hopefully put on a shelf in the store as a display unit to put some of the rolling stock and engines that we get in from these used sales. But anyways, I hope I kept this short enough. Uh, look for a new video coming uh, August 1st, Monday, as we launch the website. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the website and what's involved. So definitely stick around to this channel. Got a lot more things coming in the future. Again, I thank everybody for their support and uh, happy modern railroading, everybody. Stay tuned, stay safe out there. I'm Tina Marie. Bye.